forget the legends. You have to do more than walk in his footsteps. For he is more than the sum of his actions. tell you this, not because I trust you, Agent Clark. But because all our lives are at stake. the seeds of our future are sown in his past.
Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, mein Name ist Gregor Bieler vom Xbox Deutschland Team und es ist mir eine große Ehre, Sie im Rahmen der Gamescom 2014 Pressekonferenz im Namen von Xbox willkommen zu heißen. Wir begrüßen Sie live aus Köln in Deutschland, dem Land des Fußballweltmeisters 2014. Ja! Yeah. Yeah. Bitte heißen Sie nun mit mir gemeinsam Ihren Gastgeber, Head of Xbox, auf der Bühne willkommen, Phil Spencer. <laughs> Thanks, Gregor. Good afternoon and welcome. It's an honor to be here in Cologne, Germany for Gamescom 2014. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome the many gamers around the world who are joining us on Xbox.com, Xbox Live, and Twitch TV. I'd also like to take this opportunity to say thank you to the many development and publishing partners who have joined us here today, both on stage and in the audience. Thank you for your partnership and thank you for your support. I've said it before, it's an incredible time to be a gamer. And more specifically, it's an incredible time to be an Xbox One gamer. The minute you pick up an Xbox One controller, you become part of a global community. And this fall, the community of gamers on Xbox is growing. We look forward to bringing Xbox One to 29 new markets around the world this year, including many across Europe, starting on September 2nd. If there's one thing we'd like you to take away from our show today, it's this. Xbox is the best place to play. This holiday, Xbox One will be the best place you can play the biggest blockbusters, franchises alongside groundbreaking exclusives, blockbuster titles like the stunning Assassin's Creed Unity, which we just showed you. Grand Theft Auto V will move to Xbox One this fall with an incredible new level of detail. Xbox One gamers can carry over their GTA Online characters and progression from either PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. And of course, Destiny from our friends at Bungie. When the sci-fi adventure launches September 9th, the best place to play will be with your friends on Xbox Live. And the list goes on, including titles we'll see more of today, Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, FIFA 15, and more. Today, we'll also see new gameplay from some of the most anticipated Xbox One exclusives, Sunset Overdrive, Forza Horizon 2, Ori in the Blind Forest, and of course, Halo the Master Chief Collection. <laughs> Plus, rounding out this amazing holiday lineup, our groundbreaking roster of games coming from ID at Xbox. To t celebrate some of these blockbusters and exclusives, we've got some new Xbox One bundles to announce today. 
We'll also preview some of the highly anticipated games coming up to Xbox in 2015 and beyond. Games that push the boundaries of creativity and innovation. We've got a big exclusive to announce and another one to world premiere. Blockbusters, exclusives, independent games, and an incredibly diverse portfolio of games for gamers of all kinds. All coming to Xbox One this holiday. Let's get started. As Gregor mentioned earlier, Germany is not just the home of Gamescom, it's also home of the current World Cup champions. In FIFA 15, Electronic Arts delivers the next installment of the biggest selling sports franchise in the world. Once again, FIFA 15 will have exclusive content in the game's most popular mode, FIFA Ultimate Team, with legends only available on Xbox. And with the recently announced EA Access, members will get to play FIFA 15 before anyone else exclusively on Xbox One. Today, I'm excited to announce that fans in Europe will be able to pre-order an exclusive FIFA 15 bundle, including an Xbox One console, controller, and a digital copy of FIFA 15 available from September 25th. Here to tell us more is FIFA 15 General Manager, David Rutter. Hi there. So, FIFA Ultimate Team is the place our fans go to live out their footballing dreams. It's also the most popular mode in FIFA, played by millions of gamers each day. Last year, we announced that there were more than 40 football legends coming to EA Sports FIFA Ultimate Team only for Xbox 360 and Xbox One. Today, we're very excited to tell you about new legends expanding the roster to more than 50. One of those legends is here today, and we're going to build, thank you, and we're going to build an ultimate team with him, a player who exemplified leadership and excellence, both for club and country. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to welcome to the stage Manchester United and Denmark legend Peter Schmeichel. Um, So, uh, obviously, we were just yeah. chatting, and everyone's kind of heard from here. We're in the home of the current world champions, and, and obviously, an amazingly successful uh, international career for you, too. Ultimate Team is about building your dream 11. When you're thinking about national players from your day and also yeah. from Denmark, who do you think of? Well, I think, you know, nationality, and it, it's a good uh, brand chemistry within being Danish, for instance. So, uh, in my team, I've picked two Danes the best two players I've ever played with for Denmark, and it's uh, Brian Laudrup and his brother, Michael Laudrup. Cool, uh, and an amazing, strong start for me there, two fantastic players. Uh, but obviously, everyone needs uh, a strong captain in their team uh, to anchor the squad. Who, who would be your choice? My, my first World Cup, the first World Cup I ever remember was in 1974, and it was played here in West Germany. And one of the players who was running the show for West Germany back then was Franz Beckenbauer. He was the, leading, the leader of beating a Dutch side in the final 2-1. So Franz Beckenbauer, he's going to be my captain. You were talking about him earlier, the Kaiser. So, the uh, Kaiser, yeah. yeah. Amazing guy. Um, so remembering that in FIFA you can pick any player for ultimate team, uh, who would be the defenders that you would want in front of you? Well, for me, defenders was always the most important players to sort of have in front of me. They were protecting me. Uh, and having played in England for, for so many years, you know, of course, there's only one, a world champion, captain of the 1966 World Cup winning team, uh, so Bobby Moore, so he's also in my team. Awesome. A fantastic background to your squad there. So, uh, keepers, something close to you, I'm sure. Uh, Sir Alex Ferguson once described you as the greatest goalkeeper of all time. Uh, but your son plays for my team, Leicester City, and they're back in the Premier League uh, this season. Mm. So uh, should he start ahead of you as a goalkeeper? <laughs> I'd love to put Casper in that team. <laughs> but I'm picking my ultimate team, so obviously it's a team <laughs> that I would like to play behind. So I know it's a bit... But I am going to pick okay. myself. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully he'll forgive you. You're in goal. Okay, but let's fill out the rest of the squad with some other Ultimate Team legends. Uh, that's looking like a, a pretty strong team there. Fantastic lineup of players. And obviously, 
when FIFA 15 comes out in September, you can actually build and compete with this exact squad if you want to on uh, Xbox One and Xbox 360. Thank you so much for coming along. It's Pleasure. been an honor to spend some time with you Thank today. You. Thank you. Thank you. So those players are just a few of the football greats that join our FIFA Ultimate Team Legends when FIFA 15 launches later this year. Uh, from Brian and Michael Laudrup, as you saw, to Sir Bobby Moore, this year we're giving our fans the chance to write their own history in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team only on Xbox. Let's meet the new legends. Hey, I'm Chris. Uh, we have had an awesome year working with some fantastic developers since we announced the ID at Xbox program last year at Gamescom 2013. We now have hundreds of independent games in development for Xbox One from studios all over the world. Uh, today, I'd like to give you a quick preview of some titles that are all coming first to console on Xbox One. Let's check them out. Wow, <laughs> there, some, there were a ton of rad games in the red goat simulator. Um, anyway, we'd like to take a little time to just take a closer look at a couple of my favorites. Uh, first up is Space Engineers from Czech developer Keen Software. It's got really deep crafting mechanics and realistic physics, but what I really love about this game is it kind of lets you explore that fantasy of building cool stuff in space and then blowing it up. And it's coming first on console to Xbox One. Let's take a look. Thank you. 
Cool. Next, I'd like to show you guys a game from a small team in Poland who grabbed a ton of attention on Kickstarter this year. This game's also coming first to console on Xbox One. I, I love that it's got this amazing sense of style, but it's also got an amazing gameplay hook. Time only moves when you do. Let's check it out. Super hot. 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 That's really cool. Uh, one developer we're really excited to work with is veteran UK studio Team 17, who's going to be bringing their entire portfolio of console games to Xbox One. Today, we want to show you a quick preview of The Escapist. It's a deep prison sim with crazy mechanics all built in a 16-bit style. But you really have to play this game to believe it. It's just, it's just a magical experience when you play it. So let's take a quick look. Uh, my first thought when I saw when I saw the next game we're going to see is, you know, finally we're getting a MOBA that just wants to be played with the controller. Today I'm really excited to announce that Smite from High Res Studio will be coming first to console on Xbox One.
So everything we've shown today is going to be shipping first for console on Xbox One, but these are just a few of the hundreds of games that are coming through the ID program. We can't wait for you guys to play them. Thanks a lot, and I'll leave you with a, another look at a game that is one of the games that I am most looking forward to playing on Xbox uh, next year. Thanks a lot. It's great to see the incredibly diverse lineup of games coming from ID at Xbox, from developers around the world. Our next game has made its home on Xbox, with its biggest and most engaged community playing on Xbox Live. Last night, Activision had a great Call of Duty Advanced Warfare event here in Cologne. I was lucky enough to be there, and it was incredible to see the innovative features they are bringing to the next generation of multiplayer gaming. For the fans here at Gamescom, we have a dedicated boot camp eSports arena in the Xbox booth where you can play Advanced Warfare's intense multiplayer modes firsthand. Please welcome Glenn Schofield and Michael Condry from Sledgehammer Games to tell us more about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Thanks so much, Phil. It's great to be here in Germany for Gamescom. And on behalf of the entire team of Sledgehammer Games, thanks for having us. At the start of development for Advanced Warfare, we set our sights on delivering three really important things. Fun, that's two. Uh, fun and completely new gameplay across all game modes, from campaign to multiplayer and co-op. And two, a memorable story told through an incredible cast of characters. And three, a truly next-gen Call of Duty game across the graphics, the audio, the performance capture, and much more. We're really proud of the team's work thus far, and we can't wait for our fans, hopefully all of you, to play. Michael. That's right. And at the heart of Advanced Warfare is the Advanced Soldier and the Exoskeleton. And last night, we unveiled what that means to the multiplayer experience in Call of Duty. All new EXO movement, EXO abilities, EXO perks, new weapon classes, gear, and so much more. We've made the most fundamental change to the player movement set in Call of Duty in nearly a decade, and we'd love to show you more about that here today. So we brought another look at the advanced soldier in a level we've called Collapse. It takes place in San Francisco on the Golden Gate Bridge. Please enjoy. Thank you. Sides all clear. Wait, listen to the plane, man. What do you got? It's ravaging. Let's move. Go, go, go. White van with commercial place just jumped the checkpoint. We're up the ship. You have execute authority to take that van down. Be 
vehicles just broke the checkpoint. They're heading your way. How the hell did I stop? Pitbull's out of action. Proceeding on foot. We need to get over this way. Scorpio 3-5 inbound to assist.
Mitchell. You're all right, mate. Thanks, Glenn and Michael. We'll not only have Advanced Warfare add-on content first on Xbox, but I'm pleased to announce an Xbox One limited edition Call of Duty Advanced Warfare bundle available this November 3rd. It has everything you'll need to succeed in a new era of combat, and it will include a massive one terabyte hard drive, a custom-designed console controller with sound effects, plus a full game download of the Day Zero edition of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, including additional digital content. And you can pre-order today. <laughs> Joining Advanced Warfare on the roster of blockbuster games coming to Xbox One is a title that had an incredible reception at E3 with over 41 nominations and 25 awards, including Best of Show. The open beta for this title will be coming in January only to Xbox One. And after the game launches on February 10th, Xbox One gamers will have access to premier downloadable content first. Please welcome Phil Robb from Turtle Rock Studios to tell us more about Evolve. Thanks, guys. <laughs> uh, hey, so I'm here to introduce Evolve, uh, if you haven't seen it already. Uh, it's a four versus one cooperative competitive shooter coming to the Xbox One February 10th. Set on the savage planet of Sheer, Evolve plays out as a series of epic boss battles where the boss is a player-controlled monster. Today, we'd like to share with you a new map, uh, the Distillery, uh, playable for the first time here at Gamescom. With dynamic snowstorms, uh, large altitude changes, and secret waterfall routes, this compact battleground is full of options for both hunters and monsters alike. Let's jump into a match. Uh, already in progress to show you how a new map and mixing up the hunter teams uh, affects the games for both sides. Take it away, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jay Party here with DB Sinclair, and we are jumping right into this game that is well underway here. Right now, you're looking at your level two Kraken as he finishes up the food he's going to need to get to stage three. And boy, does he need it. That health bar at the top of the screen looking real low. That's right, Jay Party. He is at full armor there, though. And here, the hunters dealing with some of the local wildlife on distillery. As we've shown in our previous maps, the wildlife can be very dangerous to both the hunters and the monster. Just the same here in distillery. Yeah, moving over to our Kraken here, getting that stage up to level three. This is so important. He's in this cocoon for now, selecting his final abilities, and this is as strong as he's going to get. He's going to want to take this fight to the Hunters when he's ready. Hunters led by Hank on support with that laser cutter. In the distance there, you're seeing some of the vertical areas that Phil talked about. Big verticality of this map, and also those snowstorms. There's the Kraken, though, Jay Party. Yeah, they get eyes on him here. This could be an engager. They can get that mobile arena down, that blue bubble. They're going to force this fight, and they do. Oh, but a huge lightning strike hits the support, Hank. Followed up by a Vortex Blast. They need to heal on Hank there. He's getting uh, a lot of damage there. Jay Party in Evolve, you always have to have Assault. You always have to have a Trapper, a Medic, and Support. But what we're showing here for the first time at Gamescom is that you can mix and match Hunters and Monsters. Yeah, absolutely here. But back to this fight here. This monster's health getting real low. Down to two bars there. Oh, and Lazarus getting the revive on that support. This is looking like a rough fight for the monster. Clutch revive. And here's Hank with that shield protector. Doing a great job shielding his teammates, keeping them in the fight. Has the shield there on hide so he can do more damage to the monster. But he can't shield everybody at once, Jay Party. Here he's focusing on the medic Lazarus and he's got him down. Yeah, Tango's the medic that's so important, but still that health bar getting so low. This monster is just almost out of steam here. Down to support and assault. They can do the damage here, Jay Party. They've got him down to less than a bar of health, but down goes support. We're, excuse me, down goes assault. We're here on uh, support. And, oh no, it's the leap pounce. Jay Party, that's game over. Just like that, the Kraken changes the game, turns it upside down. 
Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of 2K and Total Rock Studios, thank you for watching Evolve. As mentioned before, the beta for Xbox One Evolve will be live in January, and the Evolve Xbox One launch will be worldwide on February 10th in 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in Sir Gamescom, and stay classy, Cologne. Wow. Thanks, guys. That was incredible. Hi, I'm Phil Harrison. It's a great pleasure to be with you here today. And I'm going to be using the word exclusive a lot over the next few minutes. Our next title is a worldwide fan favorite for action and adventure gaming with a truly iconic lead character. In 2013, the latest installment of the game received over 70 Best Of nominations and sold over 7 million units. Here to talk about one of gaming's biggest franchises is Daryl Gallagher. Daryl Gallagher. Thanks, Phil. Last year, we released an origin story to reboot one of gaming's biggest icons. In her story, Lara Croft was forged into a true survivor in an unforgettable journey. But this was just the beginning. In Rise of the Tomb Raider, Lara will push herself beyond the human limits and will be confronted by what it means to become a hero. The team at Crystal is hard at work building what we believe is going to be an amazing sequel. With the power of the new generation and working closely with the team at Microsoft, we are pushing to deliver a game that defines survival action. You'll explore huge areas in some of the most beautifully hostile places on Earth, You'll conquer bigger, better, and more challenging tombs. You'll have the thrills of some unforgettable action moments, and we will continue to bring you the best combat bow in gaming. Blockbuster games need big partners. We've had some great support from Microsoft, and we are excited to take our partnership to new heights with Rise of the Tomb Raider, coming holiday 2015 exclusively to Xbox. All right, thank you. Thank you, Daryl. That's right. We're incredibly excited to have Rise of the Tomb Raider come to our platform in 2015 exclusively. It's a franchise I've admired for over 18 years, and I can't wait for Xbox One gamers to play the game next year. Rise of the Tomb Raider is just the start. From this point forward in our show, all the games here on in will also be exclusively available on Xbox. The next exclusive title I want to share with you today is being created in partnership with Remedy and Microsoft Studios. Last generation, Remedy pioneered story-led gameplay on Xbox 360 with the award-winning Alan Wake. This generation, that's right, this generation we have a bold new vision to combine an amazing game experience with the fast-paced narrative of a TV show. It's a revolutionary new kind of game and it's exclusive to Xbox One. To tell you more about Quantum Break, please welcome to the stage Remedy's creative director, Sam Lake. Thanks, Phil. Hello, Gamescom. I'm Sam Lake from Remedy, and this, for the first time ever, is Quantum Break's time-amplified action gameplay. This is a live demo Oz is playing. Take it away, Oz. Time travel experiment has gone horribly wrong. Time is breaking down. You play Jack Choice, fighting to stop the end of time. HQ, this is Gamekeeper 1. Sibies are up and on. They're getting out of their cars. Some asshole from Lucky Joe's won't let us search his truck. It works, Serene. We take the hard line. Easy on the trigger finger, but if it comes to it... Copy.
Jack was caught in the blast of the failed experiment. Now he has the power to manipulate time. Jack can rush through time, becoming just a blur to confuse and strike his enemies. Jack can also stop time in a focused area, freezing objects and opponents. He can even stop bullets and then release them for maximum impact. We've got a visual on choice. Too hot. I'm gonna find another way across. I'm almost there. Just wait. I'm Two not minutes. putting Sophia at risk. I'll make it across that bridge. Whatever it takes. We've got civvies trying to push through the line. You know your orders. Hard line. Any means necessary. <sighs> In Quantum Break, time is stuttering and breaking down entirely. These stutters manifest as frozen moments that can shift or collapse without warning, or timelines caught in violent loops crashing into each other. To the world at large, this crisis is hidden. When time stops, everybody freezes. But Jack's powers let him function inside stutters. Jack cannot control stutters. He must navigate through their dangers to survive.
Jack Senemi, a corporation called Monarch Solutions, is determined to stop him. They have technology that allows them to function inside stutters. These Cronon Tech Juggernauts have heavy-duty exoskeletons and custom-built weapons. If you want to see how Jack gets out of this frying pan and into the fire that follows, keep an eye on Quantum Break this week. We have plenty more to show you. Thank you. Wow, that is simply stunning. Thank you very much to our friends at Remedy Entertainment for an incredible live gameplay demo. At E3, we introduced you to Fable Legends, the new Fable experience for Xbox One that returns you to the rich land of adventure you know and love with dozens of new stories to be told. At Gamescom this week, we'll show you more of our new vision of Albion and introduce you to some of the new heroes you'll be able to play, each with their own distinct personalities and play styles. And for the first time in the Fable franchise, you can choose to play the villain and mastermind the battle from on high. Sign up for the multiplayer beta starting on the 16th of October, but first let's take a look at the latest on Fable Legends. Let me tell you a story of heroes. Of four that came, four that fell, and of the heroes that took their place. Bravely they fought, the future of Albion in their hands. Could it be that these heroes will triumph? Could it be they will vanquish all? story of the villain, of how four heroes came, and four heroes were conquered. Take their place. Who will 
save Albion now. We are here in the heart of Europe today, so it's the perfect time to talk about the European talent forging incredible game experiences for Xbox gamers around the world. Right now, Microsoft Studios has as many games in development in Europe as we do in the US. Lionhead and Remedy Entertainment are two studios leading the industry with creative storytelling and innovative gameplay. Another European studio we are very proud to partner with is Frontier Developments, and we're thrilled to bring you a world exclusive reveal of their latest title, a brand new exclusive franchise coming to Xbox in the spring of 2015. Enjoy. We will soon be arriving at Screenworks. Thank you for volunteering for the program. Your experiences here will have a direct influence on tomorrow's society. Hello Gamescom, I'm Dan. In June, the legendary Nurburgring made its next-gen debut free in Forza Motorsport 5. In the two months since it released, fans have driven more than 46 million miles. That's nearly 60,000 laps per day. Now at Forza, our goal is to deliver extraordinary car experiences that you just can't get anywhere else. Today, I'm proud to announce that two wildly unique cars are making their gaming world debut. The all-electric Formula E Renault Spark ushers in an exciting new era in open-wheel racing. Starting today, players can compete in a special Formula E hot lap event on Xbox Live for a chance to win VIP access to next year's race here in Germany. And for the first time in video game history, Rolls-Royce Motor Cars has officially arrived, exclusively in Forza. Wraith is the most powerful Rolls-Royce ever made. In Forza Vista, you can experience Wraith's unparalleled craftsmanship. The Formula E and the Rolls-Royce Wraith, along with four other uh, in, uh, along with four additional cars, including the all-new 2015 Ford Mustang are available today for all Forza Motorsport 5 players for free. Thank you. Now for more on Forza Horizon 2, here's Ralph Fulton from Playground Games. Thanks, Dan. 
Forza Horizon 2 is a game of spectacular beauty, with breathtaking coastal drives, epic thunderstorms, rolling European landscapes, and exquisite sunsets, all rendered in stunning 1080p. It's a game full of action-packed fun, in which you're always building huge scores with our kudos-like skill system, whether you're crashing through forests or drifting through city streets. And it's a game in which freedom underpins everything you do. Horizon 2's massive list of more than 200 cars, its sprawling open world, and its epic variety of events are all yours to explore. But we believe that the fun, beauty, and freedom of Horizon 2 are best when you enjoy them with your friends. Drive at our opponents in your open world, 1,000 player clubs with shared progression, instant multiplayer with no lobbies and no waiting, online car meets, team racing, co-op challenges, all on dedicated servers. It's features like these which make Forza Horizon 2 the most social racing game ever made. Let's take a look. Car culture and festival culture are both inherently social. Forza Horizon 2 is inherently social. So we ensure that everyone's game feels connected, even when you're not playing multiplayer. There are lots of ways to see what your friends are doing. Even in solo play, your friends are always connected to your world. Your friends' driver tars explore the open world with you, even when they aren't online. You can challenge them to street races or follow them to hidden secrets in the world. Rivals challenges and speed cameras allow you to compete with your friends asynchronously. And at any point, you can pull up the map and see where your friends are online and what they're doing. When you decide to jump into online play, we ensure that transition is instant and seamless. And by removing lobbies, the waiting and all the hoops you have to jump through, players who don't usually play online will find it really easy, entertaining and friendly. Community is massively important to Forza. And with clubs of up to a thousand players, you could create your own community within Horizon 2. What that club is for, though, is entirely up to you. It could be a private club for you and your close friends. You could use it to compete on the game's global club leaderboards. We've given you the tools to create or find the perfect club for you. We've got car meets, which is a great place to go and socialise, chat, and show off your liveries or your tunes. If you're a really talented painter, you can enter a car meet and show off your latest design. Anyone else that's in there can take a look and at the touch of a button, download your design for their own car. King and Infected were two really popular online game modes from the original Horizon. In Forza Horizon 2, we decided to build the perfect arenas from the ground up. Each one of these arenas is designed with jumps and smashable items everywhere, taking full advantage of the open world. We have two main ways to play online. An online road trip will take you on a tour of the world from destination to destination, and then everyone in the session will vote on where the road trip goes next. In online free roam, it's entirely up to you what you do. You and the people in your session can do whatever you like. Start races, play co-op challenges, hunt for secrets and collectibles together, or just cruise around. There are no rules. The world and everything in it are yours to explore together. This is an incredibly social game. In every sense, we've reimagined what a truly next-gen online experience should be. You can play it however you want, do whatever you want. We'd like Horizon 2 to be a game that you play with friends, but maybe even a game in which you can make new friends. Thanks, guys. Now, more than ever, Xbox is home to racing. And in fact, Forza ranks as the highest rating highest rated racing franchise of all time on any device. Woo! This September, 
We will also be celebrating the launch of Forza Horizon 2 with the ultimate real-life Forza road trip fueled by the fans at home. Taking on the stunning European roads of Forza Horizon 2, we'll be recreating some of the epic challenges featured in-game and getting behind the wheel in the world's most beautiful auto exotica. So get ready to join a car club and start earning forts of fuel to unlock amazing real life and in-game rewards. Look out for more on forts of fuel soon. Now, I'd like to talk about a completely different kind of game. As soon as we saw Moon Studios, Ori, and the Blind Forest, we knew this beautiful atmospheric title was going to be something unique. Today, it's one of the most anticipated games of the year. It's also another great example of European development talent. Moon Studios is a distributed studio that was founded by designers Thomas Mahler and Gennady Karol. Its staff are currently spread around the world from Austria to Australia and beyond. It's a truly international game studio. Here are Moon Studios, Thomas and Gennady to tell us more about Ori and the Blind Forest. Gentlemen. <laughs> At E3 this year, we shared a very special moment with all of you when we revealed Ori and the Blind Forest for the very first time. We were truly honored and humbled by the award-winning reception that we received and by the true support shown from our fans. But all of you asked us when you would finally get to see more of Ori, and that day is today. We wanted to strongly focus on gameplay here at Gamescom while showing one of my favorite areas of the game, the Chinzo Tree. In the scene that Gennady is about to play, Ori just restored the flow of waters to the Chinzo tree and has to use all of his abilities to escape before the water overtakes him. And that was just a small glimpse. Please visit us at the show floor to play more of Ori and the Blind Forest, shipping exclusively on Xbox One and PC this holiday. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Truly a beautiful game. And now, fresh off the plane from Los Angeles, please join me in welcoming Ted Price, President and CEO of Insomniac Games. Sunset Overdrive takes the notion of the traditional cover-based shooter and smashes it to pieces. In its place, a fresh experience arises. We banish creeping and crawling in favor of vaulting, bouncing, and grinding through an open world during a gruesome mutant apocalypse. 
But in this apocalypse, the end of days represents a new beginning for you, the savior of Sunset City. Sunset Overdrive combines everything Insomniac Games has become known for over the last 20 years. Outrageous weapons like the TN Teddy, beautiful and unique worlds, bizarre characters, and of course, our own special brand of humor. For these reasons and more, Sunset Overdrive is the franchise we were meant to make. And you'll see why in this new video, as one of the city's survivors describes some of the nightmarish obstacles you'll face. I've lost so many friends. Seen so much tragedy. Enjoy being the first people on the planet to drink overcharge. Sometimes I wonder why fate chose me to live when they all die. <laughs> oh yeah, because I'm not a dumbass. <laughs> My name's Floyd. I was a head scientist at Fisco, but I decided to leave because her health insurance doesn't cover this. If they had just given me a bit more time to research overcharge, I'm sure I would have figured out it would do this or that. And I definitely, probably, would have caught that. But if you think their accidents are nasty, wait till you see what they're making on purpose. They've got eyes everywhere, and now they send in a legion of bots to, quote, liquidate their assets. Fisco cover-up begin. And I must say, they are efficient workers. This is our turn. Go ahead and check the Exceeds Expectations box under year-end assassination review. Oh, damn. And there's little old you in the center of all this. But you seem to be holding your own. And ever since I crossed your path, survival has gotten a lot more survivable. But don't get cocky. Stay moving and stay shooting. If you stand around, you're going to die. And then I'm going to die. And then I'm going to put my ghostly foot up your ghostly <laughs> Go forth and enjoy your apocalypse. Have fun. <laughs> And now for some big news, it's my pleasure to officially announce the Xbox One Special Edition Sunset Overdrive Bundle. Now, that's a big name, but it's a big bundle. You get the seriously cool white Xbox One console and the wireless controller. You, of course, get Sunset Overdrive as a full download, but you also get day one edition in-game items, which include our nothing but the hits gun, a sweet fizzy outfit, and a hardcore hammer, all for 399 euros. It's available the day Sunset Overdrive launches, and you can pre-order right now. So join the awesome apocalypse from October 28th and in Europe, Europe October 31. Thanks very much. Hi, I'm Bonnie. At, three, four, at E3, or 343, at E3 we announced that on November 11th, for the first time ever, you could play Master Chief's entire story on a single console with Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Including Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4, the Master Chief Collection is a nostalgic tribute to his past, but also introduces new ways to play Halo on Xbox One. In addition to celebrating the past, we wanted to lay the foundation for the future with new story and a sneak peek at some of our future gameplay. So included in the Master Chief collection is Halo Nightfall, our live action digital series from executive producer Ridley Scott and director Sergio Mimica Gazan. Nightfall introduces Agent Locke, who plays a key role in Halo 5 Guardians. And on December 29th, we begin a three-week preview of one of our new multiplayer experiences in the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta. Halo is set in a rich and deep universe, filled with stories and characters. It's a universe that encourages exploration in our games, our novels, our comics, our live action. At 343, it has long been a goal of ours to bring every Halo experience together into a single destination. So this fall, to coincide with the release of the Master Chief Collection, 
we're thrilled to announce a brand new way to immerse yourself in our universe, the Halo Channel. This is your home for Halo. The Halo Channel is an all-new interactive digital network on Xbox One and Windows, giving users the ability to watch original content like Halo Nightfall, explore the universe, or seamlessly join friends across any game on Xbox One. And as part of the Halo Channel experience, we're excited to announce our partnership with Twitch, which allows you to seamlessly integrate and amplify everything you do in Halo, from competitive multiplayer matches to speed runs and beyond. And of course, from the Halo channel, you can launch and play the Master Chief Collection. Please welcome Dan Ayub, 343's executive producer, to uh, demo the game. <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. We're thrilled to give fans a new way to relive their favorite memories of Halo 1 through Floor. The Master Chief Collection comes with all content unlock, curated playlists, and over 100 multiplayer maps all on a single disc. <laughs> now, November is the 10-year anniversary of Halo 2, and we're working hard to bring the game into the modern console era. Now, we showed you a quick glimpse of multiplayer at E3, but today we wanted to give you a first look at the remastered Halo 2 Anniversary campaign with a playthrough of one of my favorite levels, Delta Halo. So Dennis is going to drive for us. You all set, Dennis? All right. So we're starting here in classic mode. This is how the game looked 10 years ago. Everyone remember that? Let's see how it looks today with some of our magic. <laughs> Yeah, this is a fun feature, but we're going to stay in uh, new mode for the sake of the rest of this demo. So we're going to run through, and you can see some of the work we've done to it. You can hear that new audio as well. And what Dennis is showing you uh, right now is some of the things with the rocket launcher. You've got that lock-on mode, which was really key and unique to Halo 2. And, you know, what's important to note about that, despite the changes we made to this game, the audio changes, the graphical changes, how much smoother it is at 60 frames per second, the game still plays exactly as you remember 10 years ago. That has been kept intact throughout the entirety of the experience. So you're able to relive all of those great memories you've had of this game, but now in a completely next-gen experience. So we're gonna run up the, uh, the rest of the valley here. And again, you can just catch the, you know, the smoothness again of 60 frames per second, the great lighting, the great graphics. We've just had a tremendous amount of fun bringing this game to you, and I can't wait for you guys to see some more of this in November. Thanks, Dennis. Now, yeah. <laughs> now at E3, we promised to share a little more info with you guys as to how we're approaching the ranking system in the Master Chief Collection. 
and the fans were very vocal about how much they loved the ranking system in Halo 2. So I'm pleased to announce that the Master Chief Collection will feature a skill-based ranking system with identical leveling to Halo 2. <laughs> Finally, we wanted to do something special for you here at Gamescom. So this week, for the first time, you'll be able to play two of our reimagined Halo 2 anniversary multiplayer maps included in the Master Chief Collection on the floor. Ascension, which we announced at E3, as well as another returning favorite. I'm pleased to tell you our fourth reimagined Halo 2 multiplayer map will be the Legendary Sanctuary. Now, we know you love esports here in Ger Germany, so we thought we'd have a little fun with the help of our friends at Twitch, with a little multiplayer competition. We brought in some of the best Halo players on the planet and captured all of the action and its intensity on Sanctuary. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sanctuary. Hey everybody, we're really excited to be showing off the brand new Halo 2 anniversary map reveal, Sanctuary. I'm Bravo and with me is Alex Goldenboy Mendez. We're also joined by some of the best professional Halo players in the world. Walshy, Strongside, Flamesword, and Pistola. I'm really excited to show off Sanctuary for the first time. Alex, it's a classic Halo map. Yeah, it's a map that old school Halo fans absolutely love. And luckily we have four incredible players here to show off the map. So what we're gonna do is take these four guys, split them up into two teams, have them play a quick match to five, and see what happens. All right, let's hop into the match. Teams for the match are gonna be Walshy and Strongside going up against Pistola and Flamesword. And we're starting things off here with Flamesword's point of view as he pushes down to the middle of the map. Now remember, Bravo, one thing you wanna do is deny the enemy team possession of the rockets off the break. So Flamesword did a great job of that. But jumping over to Strongside here, who has a sniper rifle, he's gonna miss two shots, sending one nade forward, can't quite find the other one as well. But there is gonna be a player pushing ring one. Yeah, it looks like that's Flamesword who snuck ring one, he's gonna to try to grab that rocket launcher and actually does steal the rocket launcher, misses the first rocket on Strongside and pushes him back. Yeah. And oh, tried to go for the quick scope there, couldn't quite find it. But jumping back to Flame Sword now, who actually has the rockets. He wastes two before, finds one there. That's going to make it one to zero for the double oh. guess. And he's able to get it, making the score two to one. And now switching gears over to Strong Side, who's off the respawn. Just over a minute left. And as you said, his team is down by one, immediately pushing towards the middle of the map. I like what he's doing here with his ring three vantage point. I couldn't agree more with you, Bravo. Here he's going to find one player down the bottom. Perfect nade placement, able to take him out. And can he line up the double kill? Oh. Yes, he can, making it. Three to two, red team in the lead. And now switching over to Pistola. One minute left on the clock, but his team is down by one kill, so he wants to slow things down just a bit. He needs to coordinate an attack with Flamesword as they push towards the middle of the map, putting some shots down on Walshy, but does get sniped from the right side. That's going to force him to drop down. Let's switch over to Strongside, who has the sniper rifle. Yeah, and with that said, he has the game in his hands as well. Three to two is to score. Let's see what Strongside and Walshy can do here as they have control of the center of the map. There is going to be a player, though, ring two, finding one, oh. two swift body shots, and that's going to make it four to three. Strongside can shut the game down. Oh, and he hit the no-scope for the win. Game over. Incredible game with a great no scope from Strong Side to end it. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Sanctuary. For the first time, we have Ascension and Sanctuary playable on the show floor in the Xbox booth. In addition, we're partnering with ESL to do a Halo 2, tur Halo 2 anniversary tournament in the Esports Hall. So come to join us for both. Last but not least, we wanted to give an update about what we've been thinking about for Halo 5 Guardians Beta. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy the Master Chief Collection this November. Having a beta this early in development is crucial because it gives us as developers the opportunity to react to the feedback that we get from fans and actually take that into account as we're continuing to complete the multiplayer experience for Halo 5 Guardians. The focus of the beta is going to be on 4v4 arena gameplay, which is really you know, getting back to that legacy of competitive gameplay that's always been at the heart of, of Halo's multiplayer. Halo has always been a great competitive game. That, that old school feeling of what is arena shooter, four players in each team, controlling weapons on map, controlling the map itself, your teammates being in the right position. The beta will run from December 29th through January 18th for a period of three weeks. We have seven maps, we have three modes, 11 sandbox weapons that are gonna be included, and seven armor sets that you'll be able to customize your Spartan with. 
looking at small maps that are really tailored to 4v4 combat. We've also got fair starts, so what that means is no one's going to have a different loadout than the other person. Every member of red team is going to be the same as every member of the blue team. We've got 60 frames per second, which is going to be awesome. Just a blistering pace of we're going to have dedicated servers. All these things are really going to support our goals for fostering that, that competitive gameplay. We really want the Halo channel to be this great complimentary experience with the beta. So it's not just for us to be able to push entertainment to you, it's also for the viewer and the player to kind of give information back to us. We'll be running all of this programming leading up into the beta and throughout the beta, but you'll also be able to unlock some things in the beta that you'll actually be able to carry forward into Halo 5 Guardians. Anytime you're putting something out there that you're working so hard on, it's always nerve-wracking to have the first time anybody gets hands-on with that experience, um, but it's also invigorating. And so we're all just really excited to get online and play with the fans and hear their feedback to, to help make Halo 5 Guardians the best game it can possibly be. There's one franchise that has established itself in the face of epic storytelling and multiplayer gaming on Xbox, and that's Halo. This holiday, the Master Chief Collection offers gamers incredible value. Four phenomenal games, the live-action Halo Nightfall series, and Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta, all in one package, only on Xbox One. Our goal today was to show you our continued commitment to make Xbox One the best place to play games this holiday. Games like Assassin's Creed Unity, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, FIFA 15, Grand Theft Auto 5, Destiny, Minecraft, Sunset Overdrive, Forza Horizon 2, Halo the Master Chief Collection, and more. We also announced three exclusive holiday bundles that represent incredible value and choice for Xbox fans. The Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Bundle, the Sunset Overdrive White Console, and for fans here in Europe, FIFA 15. All three bundles are available for pre-order today. And we showed you continued commitment to bringing the best exclusives to Xbox One in 2015 and beyond. It was incredible to see the demo from Remedy for Quantum Break on the first time on stage here. It was also an honor to have Daryl Gallagher announce that Rise of the Tomb Raider will be joining the list of Xbox exclusives in holiday 2015. But it doesn't end there. You have told us you want more choice in how you purchase games and we're delivering. I'm pleased to announce that we will be bringing one of your most requested features to Xbox One, the ability to pre-order and pre-download selected titles to your console. Xbox One owners will be able to pre-order and pre-download Forza Horizon 2 prior to its official release on September 30th, so you are ready to play as soon as it launches. More titles will also be available in the coming months, including FIFA 15. It's worth repeating. It's an incredible time to be an Xbox One gamer. For those of you here at the briefing, you'll get a chance to play some of the games we showed you today and talk directly to the developers. For those attending Gamescom this week, we hope that you will come to the Xbox booth where you can play some of these amazing games for the first time. And for everyone who watched us online today, you can stay connected to Gamescom's daily updates and events this week, including the briefing after show on your Xbox, on Xbox.com, and on Twitch. Thank you for your time today. But most of all, thank you for playing on Xbox One and constantly giving us feedback and input on what you want to see in your Xbox, and for the tremendous support that you've shown us in our first year. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much.
Hi, it's Larry here, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. Here we are, live TV, Graham Boyd, AC Bongos, Graham, what a show. How is it going, everybody? Absolutely incredible show. Do you know what? I love Gamescom. I love it. I love coming out to Germany, yeah. and I love this show. And that's why you just saw why. Now, right in just a few minutes, but right in these doors, we're going to have uh, invited guests and media are going to come join us, get hands-on time with some of the games that were just announced. Now, Graham, you're going to take a look at some, and I'm going to take a look at some. What are you going to be looking at? Yeah, stick with us. Seriously, we've got a great show coming up for you. Lots of live gameplay footage. I am going to be taking a closer look at Forza Horizon 2 with Ralph Fulton from Playground Games yep. and Ori and the Blind Forest as well with Thomas Maller from Moon Studios. So cannot wait to see more of those. I am excited to take a look at Sunset Overdrive. Ted Price. CEO of Insomniac, a good friend of Xbox, is here. He's going to personally give us kind of a walkthrough. Dan Ayub, uh, executive producer at 343, he was just on stage. Hopefully he's going to be running through those doors in just a second to get into his position. Absolutely. We're going to take a look at Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Quantum Break, you saw the gameplay. That's you right. saw that. That First was unbelievable. Time. First time. Sam Lake, I'm going to corner him and ask him some questions. I know I've been keeping my eye on Twitter. So we're going to ask him some of your questions, and of course I have my